On August 14th, 2023, about two weeks before the release of the video you are watching, a highly significant article was published in the journal Nature Astronomy. This article disrupts our understanding of astronomy and teaches us intriguing things. A celestial object has been discovered that is the size of Jupiter, our solar system's planet, but 80 times heavier and hotter than the Sun. We had never encountered anything like this before. This new discovery changes our perspective on Jupiter, stars, and something called a failed star or brown dwarf. In this context, we're discussing the most recent astonishing discovery of a brown dwarf that challenges our laws. First, let's see what a failed star is. These are a kind of celestial bodies that, unlike comets, do not have enough mass. They cannot have ordinary hydrogen nuclear fusion, so they don't fit into the category of stars. On the other hand, they are heavier than gas giants. However, because they are too heavy to be classified as planets, they are referred to as brown dwarfs or failed stars. In terms of mass, these objects are classified between the heaviest gas giant and the lightest star. They are approximately 13 to 80 times the size of Jupiter. They can burn deuterium and undergo lithium fusion. Brown dwarfs are not necessarily brown. Their color is influenced by their temperature. The hottest ones have an orange or red hue, while the coolest ones appear reddish blue or black. In the early 1960s, an astronomer named Shiv S. Kumar proposed the existence of these brown dwarfs, theoretically. He guessed that there must be a type of celestial object that falls between the categorization of planets and stars. Initially, he called them black dwarfs, representing objects that freely float in space. The idea was that these black dwarfs were actually a type of white dwarf with a very low temperature. Not much was known about modern brown dwarfs because they had never been observed. In 1975, another astronomer named Jill Cornell Tarter coined the term brown dwarf for these objects. She suggested the name due to the colors they could potentially have, although nobody had seen these objects until then. In the 1990s, advancements in infrared astronomy allowed astronomers to discover new objects in the cosmos. These objects didn't fit into the categories of stars or planets. They emitted some light due to the heat they already possessed. However, they lacked hydrogen fusion in their cores, so they couldn't become stars. This led to the discovery of brown dwarfs, or failed stars. These objects are seen as bridges between planets and stars. In the early 2000s, scientists discovered a binary star system containing a white dwarf named WD00 32317b. White dwarfs are the crystallized cores of large stars that have exhausted their fuel and collapsed under their own gravity. They are incredibly hot, with temperatures around 37,000 degrees Celsius. This system is located 1,406 light years away from us. The study of this system was postponed for years until it was revisited recently. The astonishing aspect of this was that scientists realized this white dwarf was paired with another object, which turned out to be the brown dwarf we were discussing. Its name is WD00 32317b. The brown dwarf WD0032 is unusual because it is roughly the size of Jupiter, but 80 times heavier. It is extremely dense and incredibly hot. It is locked to its host star, meaning one side is always facing the star, while the other faces into space. The side facing the star reaches a temperature of over 9,500 degrees Celsius, hotter than the surface of our sun by 3,900 degrees. The cooler side has a temperature of around 2,700 degrees Celsius. This new brown dwarf is, on average, warmer than any extrasolar planet we have discovered so far. It falls into a classification referred to as hot Jupiters. A hot Jupiter refers to a gas giant exoplanet similar to Jupiter that orbits close to its host star. Astronomers have discovered over 500 hot Jupiters. They are roughly one-third to more than 10 times the mass of Jupiter and are extremely hot due to their proximity to their host star. Most hot Jupiters have temperatures ranging from 700 to 1,700 degrees Celsius. They are usually locked to their host stars. However, the brown dwarf WD 0032317b's high temperature is not its only peculiarity. It is so hot because its orbit is very close to its host star, causing it to become heated. 
Unfortunately, these hot Jupiters are difficult to observe because they typically orbit their stars very closely, making them challenging to detect amidst the star's glare. The light from their stars is so bright that these planets remain invisible. However, the brown dwarf WD0032 is fortunate because it orbits a dim star, making it easier to detect. Scientists were able to discover it for this reason. Further studies of this brown dwarf will greatly enhance our understanding of the formation of binary systems and the evolution of hot Jupiters. Dr. Naama Halakun, an astrophysicist at the Weizmann Institute of Science in Israel, and the author of this article stated in a statement that hot Jupiters are exactly the opposite of habitable planets due to their nature and extremely high temperatures. Clearly, due to the nature of the planet and its extremely high temperatures, it is not a suitable place for life. Observations with high-resolution spectroscopy of this system will be carried out by the James Webb Space Telescope. With the tools it has, James Webb should examine this brown dwarf so that we can get a better understanding of the formation of this object. We have understood many things so far. For example, at first, scientists thought that this binary system only had two white dwarf stars, but then they realized that no, the other pair of one of these white dwarfs is a brown dwarf, and a system can be made in this way. These failed stars play an important role in astronomy. It helps scientists about the formation of stars and planets. They are useful for understanding the processes of fusion and atmosphere in cold objects because the knowledge of these objects requires special tools, such as the infrared that flourished in the 90s. We are currently at the peak of discovering these objects, thanks to telescopes like Spitzer and the James Webb Space Telescope that possess the right tools for this task. The brown dwarf WD0032317 b has opened up a new perspective in astronomy for scientists, challenging their understanding of binary systems. This is where scientists' knowledge of binary systems is being challenged. I hope you enjoy watching this video. I invite you to watch the fascinating video about a black hole.